I'm Dr. Jess Mason, and this video is going to show you placement of an EZIO in a real patient, in a real code, in a real hospital. But first, before you get too drill happy, let's go over what's in the kit so you know what to expect. It comes with a drill. Without it, it wouldn't be so easy, would it? It comes with three needles. We've only got two today because we're on a budget. There's pink for pediatric because all kids like pink. Blue, which is not shown, fits in most adult sites. And then yellow, which works well for the adult humerus and areas of adipose. So you can remember yellow, adipose, you're welcome, enjoy your dinner. It attaches magnetically to the drill. And then once it's drilled into place, you're gonna remove that stylet. Safety first. And then this proprietary dressing fits nicely over the top right there. And you can then connect your tubing and you're all ready to go. For the proximal tibia, you wanna feel two finger breadths below the tibial tuberosity, and you're gonna go on that anteromedial surface. So you're gonna prep the skin, of course, first. Now with your drill, here they're using the yellow one. The blue would also work. Yellow might be a little long, so you just don't wanna hub it. You're gonna advance it through the skin and then drill until you feel give. That's how you know you're in the medullary cavity. Don't push it beyond that because you don't wanna go through the medullary cavity. Now you remove the stylet and you can place that fancy, beautiful dressing. And now you can hook up your tubing. So they're gonna draw off some labs here, which is great for things like H&H &H and type and screen, but some of your elements of your chemistry panel are gonna be very different from your serum levels, so you wanna be careful. And remember, you can give any medication through an IO line. For infants and kids less than six years old, the proximal tibia is actually the preferred site. Here are some other options for placement. You can go in the distal tibia as well, and basically it's like the medial ankle, where the medial malleolus meets the shaft of the tibia. Another option is the distal femur, and for that you would go two finger breadths above those wide condyles of the knee, and that's right smack in the middle. And finally, there's the humeral head, and you're gonna go in the greater tuberosity of the humerus. Now, if you're going to do this in an awake patient, then I recommend using some anesthesia and you can use my mnemonic two of two for two times two. That's two cc's of 2% lidocaine over two minutes, then do a flush and wait, and then repeat it, so times two. Two of two for two times two. And that gives your patient 80 milligrams of lidocaine. Some people use a little more, a little less, but that's a safe amount. I also recommend anesthetizing the skin and periosteum before you start.